Hi, this is Stan Lyle with Master Math. During the lesson, you're going to come to some You Try It slides where you're asked to do problems that relate to the lesson. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you have a really good time today. That skier's racing down that ski slope. That looks like a lot of fun. I, I hope, though, he's not trying to go down that mountain on the right. That, that's way too steep. The, the slope's way too severe. Well, you know what slope means. And as always, math's trying to model the real world, and it needs a way to deal with slope as well. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Slope. This, this is math, remember that, so we've got to find a number to represent slope. And we've done that. And there's a formula to figure out that number. Slope equals rise over run. Slope e equals the amount it goes up and down, which how much does it rise, over how much does it run, the amount it goes left and right. In this case, this hill that this machine's trying to chug up has a rise of 40 feet. It goes up 40 feet. And it goes up 40 feet over a run of 100 feet. So the run is 100 and the slope equals 40 over 100. Oh yeah, again, this is math and we got to have a symbol to represent the word slope because we just don't like to write out great big words. So we pick the symbol M. M equals slope. And in this case, M equals 40 over 100. If I divide 40 by 100, I get 0.4, and the slope of this hill is 0.4. Okay, well let's figure out the slope of a line on a coordinate plane. The slope, the formula for the slope is rise over run. Slope equals rise over run. And here's a line and what you need to do is find two points on that line and it's going to be much easier if you pick up a, a, a point where that line runs through the intersection of two of the grid lines you can see there's a grid line there's a grid line there's a point where those two grid lines uh, cross right there and here's a grid line and here's a grid line and there's a point right there where they cross so let's start at this point right here and figure out what the rise is I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So it changed six places along the y-axis, but it went down, and that's a negative number. So our rise is minus six. Now let's go to where we ended up, right there, and figure out how much the run was. We got one, two, three. It ran three, but again, it ran along the x-axis towards the negative numbers so it's a negative uh, run. So now I got negative 6, which was the rise, over negative 3, which was the run, and my slope is minus 6 over minus 3. Now when we move down to the next spot, I put in an M instead of the slope. And you know algebra. They, they, we just have to have a symbol. We can't use a word. So we chose an M as the symbol that represents the slope. When you see M, they're telling you that's the slope. So now I just got to divide minus 3, excuse me, minus 6 by minus 3. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. And if I divide a minus number by a minus number, I get a positive number. So my slope is 2. Well, let's try another one. This one over here, that line. And we'll start right there. And let's figure out what, no, no, no. We're going to start right there, because that's what I drew. And what's the run? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It ran 8. It ran down 8, so it's a negative number. Negative 8 is our rise. Now, what's our run? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that went in a positive direction. So our run is positive 8, and our slope is negative 8 divided by positive 8, or minus 1. Now hopefully you noticed that in the first coordinate plane we had a positive slope for our line, and in the second coordinate plane we had a negative slope for our line. Well, that's always going to be the case. If a number, or if a line is running up 
in the right direction, it's going to be a positive number. If it's going up, there's another way we can figure out the slope of a line, and that's with using the coordinates. You remember a line crosses a, a lot of points, an infinite number of points on a coordinate plane, and each of those points has a coordinate pair that represents its location. For instance, that point right there is at a, an x of 5 and a y of minus 3. And this point up here has an x of 1, 2, 3 in the negative direction and a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 y in the positive direction, minus 3 and 5. And we can use those coordinate pairs to determine the slope of this line. And the formula for doing that is listed right up there. Now I threw in a funny symbol that most of you probably don't understand. It's that triangle, which is a Greek letter called delta. So I've got delta y over delta x. And all that delta means is the difference, the change in. So I'm going to get the change in my, or the difference in my y's, and then I'm going to get the difference in my x's, and I'm going to divide those two numbers, and I'll get the slope. Let's get the change in the y first. The y went from a 5 to a minus 3. So I subtract to get the difference. I subtract 5 minus minus 3. And then my x's changed also. I went from a minus 3x to a positive 5x. So I've got minus 3 minus 5. Well, 5 minus minus 3, if I subtract a negative number, it's just like adding. So 5 minus minus 3 is the same as 5 plus 3, or 8. And minus 3 minus 5 is minus 8. I've got 8 over minus 8, which is minus 1, which is the same number, of course, that we got when we did it uh, by counting rise over run. Now you try this one. Hit your pause button, do the math, and then hit your forward key to move on to our answer. All right, let's figure out the slope. And there's, we can, we're going to do this two ways. Let's do it the uh, count the spaces way first, the rise over the run. And let's start up here at that point right there. And let's get the rise. Well, the rise is 1, 2, 3, 4 in a negative direction, so it's minus 4. And let's get the run. 1, 2, 3, 4 in a positive direction, so it's positive 4. Negative 4 over positive 4 is negative 1. But you see I've also got lines above the, uh, above the line, and I've got another formula here to figure out the slope. And that's just to show you that I can go either direction. I can, I can start from here and go that way, or I can start from here and get my rise and then get my run. So we did it that way. Let's do it this way. I've got a rise of 1, 2, 3, 4, a rise of 4, and a run of 1, 2, 3, 4 in a negative direction. So I've got 4 over negative 4, which also equals minus 1. Now let's do it with the coordinates. And what you want to do is pick any two points on the line. It doesn't matter which two points you pick. The slope's going to be the same. That line's a straight line. And the slope up here is exactly the same as the slope down here. So I can pick that dot, that dot, that point, any of those points, and it'll work. Well, I kind of arbitrarily picked um, 2 minus 1, which is right there. It's an x of 2, a positive 2, and a y of minus 1. So it's 2 minus 1, 2, and then I pick that point right there, which has an x value of 0 and a y value of plus 1. So I'm going from 2 minus 1 to 0, 1. And you remember we subtract the y values first. So I've got a negative y, which is negative 1, minus a positive 1, and then I subtract my x values. And I've got a positive 2 minus a 0. Now negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. And 2 minus 0 is 2. 
So minus 2 over 2 equals minus 1. Now you try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you see this is pretty easy. It's really not that hard. Um, I didn't even put a whole bunch of math here. We're just going to start at one point and we're going to uh, count the number of places we move. So let's start right there. And first we want to find no, no, no. I'm going to start right there. And first we're going to find the rise. And the rise is how much it moves on the y-axis. And it moves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. To get down to 0, it's 8. It started at 8 and it went down 8. So it's negative 8. Now we're going to find the run. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. Minus 8 over 6 is minus 1.333. You remember that uh, line over the 3 means it's 3 repeat. You try this one. Find M. M equals slope. Hit your pause button. Try the problem. Hit your forward key. Find the slope. Well, we want to start at one of the points and move to the other point. And we're going to get our rise over our run. So let's start at this point on the right. And to get up to the level of that point, I've got to go up one, two, three, four spaces. So my rise is positive four. Now I got to get over to that uh, other point. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to get there. And that was in a negative direction towards the negative numbers on the y axis. So my run is minus eight. And my slope is four over minus eight which reduces to minus one. Try this one. Hit your pause key, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. Okay, I got two points on this line, and I'm going to use those to figure out my rise over my run. And the first point, let's start with, let's remember we could start from either of those points, but I did it starting at that point. So let's figure out from there. I go up, I go up one, two, three, four. So my rise is four, and that was in a positive direction. And my run is just one to the left, a negative one. So my slope is four over negative one, which is minus four. Try this one. But do it with the coordinates, the coordinate pairs. Use the, the uh, 8, 4, and the 3, 2 to calculate the slope of this line. Okay, we're going to use the uh, coordinate pairs to define the slope or determine the slope of this line. And there are two pairs, that, uh, two points that we've been given the coordinates for. One is 3, 2, and the other is 8, 4. And if you remember, the formula is the difference in the y-coordinates over the difference in the x-coordinates. And that equals m, or slope. So, we're going from 3, 2 to 8, 4. And we start with the y-coordinates. So I take the 2, and we're looking for the difference, 2 minus, we're looking for the difference, 4 over, now we'll do the x-coordinates. 3 minus 8. So my slope is 2 minus 4 over 3 minus 8. 2 minus 4 is minus 2. 3 minus 8 is minus 5. If I've got a number on the, if I got a negative on the top and a negative on the bottom, I can wipe them out. And my slope is 2 over 5. Well, that's our lesson on slope. I hope you understand it now. But now it's time to test your skills. Go to www.mastermath.info and download the slope worksheet. Print it, try it at home, and make sure you understand these concepts. There's also a quiz on slope you can take. It's an interactive quiz on the website, and it'll tell you what answers you get right and what answers you get wrong, so you can make sure you understand what we're doing here. Come back and see us again real soon.